Come on. All right, just back from cutting a little wood. Uh, me and Luke down the cabin for the night. No better place to, you know, sit out a snowstorm. So, but it's already quite late. Uh, yeah, 5:22 in the evening. So, I thought I had enough firewood for the night. So, when I got here, I realized I never. So, I had to run and uh, take the quad, and, and I didn't have the woods trailer or anything. So towed a bunch of dry wood back here and sawed it up by the door. What's wrong? You want to go up? You want to go up? Keep the polar bears away, okay? You know, I was a little bit iffy coming down here because uh, the polar bear, the polar bear issue, you know, it's a uh, bunch of polar bears been seen around here and been hanging around uh, these few towns a lot because the ice is and the ice is down from the Labrador coast, so uh, lots and lots of polar bear sightings. As a matter of fact, one walked through my backyard, uh, I don't know, about a week ago. Like, right by my back door, like, I don't know, uh, 30 meters away or something like that. Great big tracks like this from my backyard. It's pretty, it's pretty sketchy when you think about it, but uh, luckily, you know, they just, they just walk by toward going toward the ocean because I am pretty close to the ocean where I am. And I'm pretty close to the ocean here, you know. But, uh, yeah, I've got bear spray, I've got bear bangers, and I've got the shotgun. So, shouldn't be any issues. Even if one did come around and, and try to, you know, try to get in here while I was cooking or something. I'm sure uh, we could get rid of it, right? But anyway, I'm going to get the stove going here. Get this place warmed up. And, uh... Yeah, we have some ribs for supper, so we'll get those going, and uh, yeah, we'll enjoy the evening. Lukey's out there chasing rabbits, but rabbit season's over, so it's just exercise for him now, and uh, he loves it. Counting down, counting over for breakfast. Taking the totems for breakfast. I'm not supposed to eat it, but nutrition doesn't matter at the cabin. On my oven, uh, my my propane is still frozen. I still haven't gotten a. Another uh, second regulator for that one. The regulator keeps freezing when it's really cold. So I'm gonna have to put these ribs in a in a pan on the wood stove and just let them simmer a bit. Then uh, when they're cooked, I'll throw a little bit of barbecue sauce on them. These old pork ribs were pretty cheap at the store today, considering uh, the price of groceries. You know, I think it was less than ten bucks for. Uh, for two pieces of rib, which I uh, cut into four. So everything here was uh, around 10 bucks or a little less than 10 bucks, I can't remember. I'll put tin foil over that and uh, we'll lay it on the stove. I got uh, the wood I just cut is still icy and snowy, so I left it, I'll keep uh, moving it around as, it's, uh, as the snow is melting off it. But some stuff I have in the back there stacked is uh, is already dry, so the snowy stuff I'll keep moving around until it thaws out. Low and slow.
see if we can get this ladder put on a on some kind of pulley system or hinge system where we can lift it up out of the way when we want. Lower it down when we need it. This table holds me. It's hot up here. Just kind of scared. Plan B. Let's try lifting this end of the ladder first. Hopefully that hook does a stretch. because those screws are only like really really tiny and I don't have a hammer so I gotta use the axe. Alright. Lambie! Hopefully that hook holds up there. <laughs> oh no, did I smash it? Definitely gonna need pulleys up there, not just a hook, actual pulleys. Make it a lot easier. I don't know if that's gonna work, man.
still warm in here. So yeah, I kind of got the right idea, but definitely gonna need a little pulley up here instead of just a hook, pulling the rope through a hook. And I shouldn't be buying shit at the dollar store anyway, with like hardware and stuff. I should be buying that at an actual hardware store, good quality stuff. And uh, maybe stuff will work out more often then. Oh yeah, they're looking good, they're looking good. you had your supper oh maybe you'll get a taste of it maybe you'll get a taste it's gonna be impossible to eat these without getting messy ain't it Let's say I'm gonna eat these ribs now. Then I'm gonna do some dishes. And then I'm gonna lay back and chill out. Maybe listen to a podcast or something. But put my feet up and relax. Listen to the wood stove. Snow was actually supposed to start before now, but. Nothing yet. Can I have a nap? Can I have a little nap? Oh, wind is picking up. So I simmered these rib bones for Lukey. What I'll do is uh, scoop out some of the broth. It's kind of some barbecue sauce in there too, but there's still lots of meat and stuff and marrow. So I'll scoop out some broth and then I'll add the broth to his food in the morning. And that'll be a nice treat for him because it's uh, pretty much just has dry food. Sometimes he has a bit of cat food, uh, wet cat food canned cat food, so it'd be nice for him to have a little bit of broth and uh, I'll throw the bones away make sure make sure they go somewhere where he's not going to get them I don't want them to choke you know? so I'll just set this aside to cool down for the morning and when I give him his breakfast I'll uh, mix some of this in uh, what time is it? 10.07 p.m. Just got the kettle on now. Gonna grab a cup of tea before I head to bed, but uh, me and Luke had a little nap there after supper. Yeah, I've been uh, going through some um, plywood boat plans. I might take on a new project there. Uh, build myself a, a little uh a little boat you know something maybe 12 or 14 feet long something i could put a little motor on or i can row you know a little plywood boat my cousin used to build them all the time when we were kids my cousin uh, my older cousin there used to build them all the time and uh, i always i always thought you know i'd like to build one but 
this might be uh this might be the time then you know i could fish in the bigger the bigger ponds the bigger lakes and i could do if i get a small motor outboard outboard motor i could do some trolling and stuff like that i think it'll be all right I don't think it'll be any harder than uh, building a strip canoe, so should be a lot easier actually. But I've been thinking about it. I don't know. I, I've been looking at some plans and stuff, and I don't say I'll follow any plans specifically, but you know I'll get some ideas and stuff. But yeah, let me know if you would like to see, uh, you know, a plywood boat build. You know, we call them pond boats here. A lot of people build just build their boats, you know. Or they used to anyway, not not as much anymore, but you know, if somebody wanted a, a boat for their cabin or to leave at their cabin, a rowboat or whatever, they'd uh, a lot of people would just build them, but you don't see it as much anymore. But I'd definitely like to give it a try. Lucas pooped. Well, no snow yet. Strong winds, but no snow. It was supposed to start around supper time, but maybe it'll maybe it'll just be a, a small storm instead of a big one. So I got another little power bank a company sent me. This one's a little more. I think it's a 200 watt. I'm just trying it out now. I'll, I'll do a review on this one later. Probably in a few weeks, but. It's from uh, All Powers. Well, it's got a couple of AC outlets and a couple of USB. Much more uh, compact than the big 800 watt Blue Eddy, but, you know, the Blue Eddy is meant for. Uh, Really meant for uh, bigger scenarios, you know? This one was more charger electronics kind of thing. But anyway, I'm gonna finish my tea, brush my teeth, and head to bed. Uh, bacon and toutons for breakfast, so looking forward to that. Catch you in the morning. Don't poke the Towton doll. Bacon and Towtons. And some kind of concoction there for Luke. Let's see if he's hungry. Come on, Luke. Yummy. Eat up, buddy. Ah. So it wasn't too bad of a storm. I think uh, our our area didn't get it as bad as like uh, Avalon Peninsula and stuff. But I don't know. Still, still quite a bit of snow fell. Good buddy. It's like 30 degrees in here now. Because it's, it's warmed up outside as well. That's why I was using my uh, propane stove there. Because the, the regulator uh, thawed out there. So I was able to use the stove after. The propane stove. And cook my breakfast a little faster. Which is always nice when you're hungry. You wake up hungry at the cabin. Here Luke. Too hot in here, Luke. 
You know, I get a lot of people telling me I should insulate the ceiling and stuff like that, eh? Insulate under the floor. So I don't lose so much heat, but the more heat I lose, the better. Because uh, the wood stove I've got there is good for, uh, it's supposed to heat like 12 or 13 to 1500 feet, square feet. And I have 192 square feet. Plus I have log walls, you know, they're six, seven inches thick. So I don't need to insulate anything. It's always too hot in here. Hey Luke. Too warm in here, hey Luke. Yeah, I'm just uh, tidying up a little bit now and we're gonna head home. It's, uh, time is, uh, it's two o'clock in the afternoon now. Yeah, we didn't get much snow at all here. A few inches maybe. See the ATV is not buried this time. A little bit of a drift there, but ice is pushed right in against the shore again today. A couple of little icebergs out there, nothing, nothing serious. But there's some big icebergs around apparently, so might get one stuck in that little cove here shortly. What do you smell? Rabbit? Hey? Oh, maybe it is a little deep, eh? <laughs> Go get him! Go get the rabbit! Or not. What? You ready to go home? You ready to go home see mom? Where's Lammy? Where's Lammy? You can't forget Lammy down here. Where's Lammy? We gotta put him in the backpack. Here. Get Lammy. Here. Give me Lammy. Ah. 